police at the time blamed hoodlums for the attacking of a young child. There was outrage at that point in time. Okay. okay. Next account is from 1904. Earlier still, the body of a hobo was found dead inside the factory. You notice that these are mentioned as factory ruins. Okay. It's described here as factory ruins, which therefore mean that the first account was also factory ruins. It was discovered by young children playing in the building and that it was slumped up against a wall. The incident was blamed on, on criminals. The clipping urges all people to stay away from the building. The final clipping is perhaps the most interesting to you and pertains to a fire that occurred in 1892. Mm-hmm. It mentions that it occurred in the early hours of the morning and probably started in the filing room on the upper floor. The bodies were identified... Uh, two bodies, as that as the supervisor David Jones and the carpenter Christopher Burns. Ironic. It speaks of the tragedy of two lives lost, stolen in their prime, and of the closure of the factory while repairs are taken to undo the damage sustained in the fire. The fire was described to be intensive. Most of the upper floor was burned away entirely. Edward. Yes. 1892 is one year after the account that you read in that book, that diary. Mm. It's about a year. So the book came first and then the fire. The book came first and then the fire a year later. Which would also explain why the box that the book was in was slightly singed. Hmm. You are have two names. <laughs> David Jones and Christopher Burns. Is there, is there any inspiration that he derives from this? Um, But you might... Are we saying that um, there was a second. fire with a man called Christopher Burns? <laughs> <laughs> you don't know, but you do have two names. There is nothing particularly happening as you are waiting, uh, Hasi. All right. Okay. So I guess we can look up records on the two people if they're available. They um, there aren't any records there in the newspaper of the two people. No, but there should be in some of the town or village halls. Hmm? There might be something, uh, uh, maybe the village hall or the church. You could also ask the local people as well. That's true. We need oh, to find a, a, a talkinator. Your choice of the village hall, the church hall, just I asking will, people go, where they live. I went to the village halls and I could probably use uh, my excuse as a doctor as an excuse to uh, get access to records quite easily. Okay. So. Yeah, it's not going to be hard. Uh, credit rating roll for me when you really? get there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, you are asking just randomly about a person. <laughs> Four. Four, yeah. I am Dr. McSwag, give me your shit. You... You check the records for the, um... For the two names. You do find them. That's right. You find that Davis jo- David Jones was married. But as far as you can tell, you find out that she since remarried. And the trail for tracking that person down runs dead. There's no reference as to where David Jones's wife or widow is at all. You don't know. David Davy Jones's widow. Davy Jones's wife. However, at the bottom of the sea. However, you find that um, Christopher Burns's wife has not moved from the house that uh, she lived at since that time, which is basically slightly down the street from the factory. All right. Cool. We can go over a look. You could go have a look there. Yeah. All right, team, form up. <laughs> form up. We're going to go visit a person. <laughs> Who do we put first in our conga line? Who's party leader? In charge of talking. I wouldn't recommend the thief. Put it that way. He's not very good at social skills. Who, who's got social skills? I don't. I ain't got none. The actor, of course. Yeah. So you're going to visit this house. Yes. Okay. Does anyone else have any social skills? I have, like, very little persuade. It's ter- the doctor had the worst bed player in the world. I'll just shoot you. Or it's a terrace house. It's pretty unremarkable otherwise. Do you- There's a door. It's painted red. <laughs> Knock on the red door. Eventually, a old woman answers the door. She looks at you, puzzled. Did someone just do a realistic door noise? <laughs> She looks at you puzzled. 
Does anyone else want to do the talking? Or uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Actor, is... yeah. Actor seems to be dead, though. Rip Cloaker. He's dead. Hey, um, so what do you want me to ask her? I just just introduce yourself and ask her if um, I, I'd say ask. Ooh, shit, how do you introduce the topic of your husband died? Tell us about that. <laughs> Start with, um, that go with it. <laughs> Start with. I'm really interested in how your husband. What, what was her husband? What was her husband's job? Uh, did he, your her husband was a supervisor. Uh, was the no? It was the carpenter. It was carpenter. You, was it just, carp- you, was that, it just, um, a, just a normal carpenter? Just a carpenter that worked on the that um. Yep, yeah, was carpenter. It was just a normal carpenter. Worked in a factory. It works on house. It works on a factory. Okay. Okay. Well, I introduced myself. My name's Jack Kleika. I'm from the human resources department of the factory that her husband worked at. And uh, we are so very sorry again about what happened to her uh, husband. And um, we actually need to do some follow up questions because the HR management demands that for deceased ex workers we have to do Make me a survey. An acting role. That's not the. It isn't it fast talk, Kiko? Isn't it always <laughs> fast talk? It's an acting role this time. <laughs> the dream. It's an acting role. Okay. It's the, the dream. 73 I failed. You the nightmare. <laughs> the one. She looks chance. at you. She looks at you and goes, "You're late. Come in." Yes. <laughs> okay. I uh. Happened can, in... can my friends come in too? They're not my friends. They're my colleagues. Of yes. Course. Yes. Come in. It was 1892. You know. You're very late. Well, you know, ma'am, how it is, bur- bureaucracy and all. You Why notice you like that peasant from Monty Python. You notice when going in that there is a lot of dust and a lot of very curious oddities and baubles and little trinkets and small porcelain models. Those are some very pretty porcelain models you have there, ma'am. Oh, thank you. Like, which one is this one? I don't know. But didn't didn't you? Get them yourself? Yeah. Oh. some point, I just looked nice, just bought it. Oh, see, so some kind of collection going on here? Mm. Sit yeah. down, sit down. Thank there, you. Thank there's you. two chairs. She sits oh. in one of them. I, 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 I sit in, in, I sit on, Not I in that chair! chair. Oh. Uh, where am I supposed to sit? The floor, why not? The floor? Yes! I'll take this opportunity to just sneak around the house. The floor it is. It is a two up, two down terrace house. That means I can go to another room. I'm sure. If you want to climb over all the clutter. Well, well, ma'am. While well, my colleagues uh, look around a little bit and make sure that you live comfortably and are well taken care of, how about um, you would help me with my survey and tell me a little bit again of what exactly happened in 1892 to your uh, husband? There was a fire and he died. Yes. Do you have any more information? Why on didn't that? you reopen the factory? Excuse me. Why didn't you reopen it? You said you would, and you never did. And now it's been sold to some property developer, building a flats or something. Oh well, I, I, I mean, I'm just from human resources, so I don't know the answer to that, ma'am. I'm sorry. I mean, is uh, do, do you have you heard anything about why it may not have been reopened? No, nothing. Hmm, I see. Well, what what exactly are you hearing about this uh this th- these flats being built there and everything is uh is that going all right? It's horrible. It's going to destroy the whole community. Because of flats? Yes. You know the kind of people that move into them? Like old people who have porcelain figures? No. Oh. Like old people without porcelain figures. <laughs> Unsavory types. Ah, I see. So have there been uh, these kind of unsavory types, uh, have they been uh, sitting around already and scoping out their soon-to-be-bought flats? No, but they will. I see, I see. Well, is there, is there anything specific I should ask her? Might Guys? Ask her Want to ask about happened? her husband? Ask her if anything odd happened, like, just before he died? To keep it distracted while yeah. Ollie steals everything. So, so ma'am, uh, back back to you, back to your husband. I mean, I haven't, I haven't my files that your husband was a very dedicated worker. Mm, he was he very was. dedicated worker. Was uh, supposed to be very well liked by his colleagues. Mm, yeah. That that about right? Yes. 
Ah, I see. I Always see. went so, out at night, though. Went out at night? Gambling, I think. Oh, gambling. With his friend David. Always went gambling, never brought David, any money. David, um... Jones! David he also, Jones! He also died in the fire. David Jones. Yes, yes, I have him on my list right here. Yes, David Jones. So, does Ask David Jones... Out. Um, by the way, cutting in here, um, whilst I'm around snooping, do I find anything related to Mr. Um, Chris? No. Chris Brown. No. You find a lot of random trinkets and baubles and stuff, old books and things that haven't been dusted and dresses that haven't been worn for ages. And You get the feeling this person has grown a bit eccentric. Mm. Mm. Shit. So this David, um, uh, what can you tell me about him? Was he a good friend of your uh, husband's? I idea role, um, Edward. Edward has an idea. He steals huh? sure. everything. Yeah. <laughs> Five. Remember, in the you remember that in the extract that you uh, that I read to you that um, the person who was writing that diary that mm. you now also remember because I did mention it before, but it's only crushed your mind now, was written by David Jones. Hmm. It was David Jones's diary, and Christopher was mentioned as not... That, that David should not tell Christopher about his journeys into the true world. Ah, yes, of course. So you put together that that piece of information as Jack is asking stuff. Mm -hmm. so, so he wouldn't know anything of going to this... You don't know. <laughs> Well, we can um, assume. So we found David Jones's diary in David Jones's locker. Hmm. What was that to say about that? <laughs> it wasn't under the seat. <laughs> he just went out gambling, and then the, the terrible fire killed him. It's terrible. You didn't open Help, the factory. You didn't open it. <sighs> hmm. Ask her if she has anything that Christopher possessed, or any of his possessions still. Request falls on dead yeah, ears. Apparently, <laughs> one one question, everyone dies. Dead ears, raining on me. Finally, fucking hell. Sorry, what was the question? <laughs> oh my fucking god! Red. Uh, the um, any of it? It did. He asked if you had any of uh, Christopher's possessions. Oh right, okay. You are. Well, um, do we have any of? possessions no i sold them all you sold them all yes are you are you hurting that badly for money man no i just didn't like them around so i sold them oh you just a must... reminder of the fact he was dead so i got yeah. rid of them any uh particular person or establishment you sold them to no no just random people off the streets i just offered for people to buy things and they uh, bought they them did. And they did. So, um, so this David fellow, um, do you have any idea where he and your husband used to go together? Nope. Not a clue, I'm afraid. They went out at night. He came back. No richer, no poorer. Do you see him any different when he came back? No. no. I see. I see. I see. Did he ever say anything about his work at the factory or any, any things that seemed particular? He liked it. I see, I see. He loved working at the factory. I see. Well, uh... Hmm. Well, at this we, we need, we need to find David Jones. Mm. Yeah. Or rather, David Jones. Well, he's dead. Waifu. He died in the fire. Yeah, well, we need to find the um, waifu. Yeah, um, I'd probably come back down and say, um, would you happen to know where we could be able to contact Mr. Jones's white... Wait, um, wait, wait, wait. Actually, wife? Actually, hmm? Before that, where did he live? Yes, where did he live? I don't know. You don't remember where your husband's best friend lived? I never, I never saw him. You weren't tracking properly. <laughs> All right. Well, I never saw him. No. Hmm. I just stayed at home. <laughs> Women! All right. In that case, I guess we balance. We need to find either records of where he lived at the time or somebody who knew where he lived at the time. That's not going to be too hard, actually. If you're trying to, you're trying to find his wife, I take it. Yes. 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 But you he won't might. manage that. Mm? Well, how come? She moved to Africa. <laughs> <laughs> Arkham okay. Africa? No. no. Just Africa. 
Just Africa. She never said where. She said she was going to Africa and she went. Is there anyone else of his family who lives around here? Mm, probably all dead by now. Mm -hmm. Rip. Okay, so we need to we need to ask around. We need to go and social skill some people into telling us where his house was. Like a your job, go. We should probably do that, yeah. <laughs> act, act at people. What are the acting cannons? Well, ma'am, thank you very much for your help. This is uh, greatly helping us improve our human resources department. Good. And um, you will be receiving a uh, further compensation sometime in the next few days. I didn't receive mail. any to begin with. Oh, I will be sure to talk to my supervisor about that. Good. D don't worry, the last payments from the last... 20 something years of show will probably arrive in a week or so time. Excellent. I look forward to it. Yes. Goodbye what are you now. What do with all the money, ma'am, if you don't mind me asking? <laughs> Hide it under my mattress. Porcelain statues. Oh, I thought porcelain statues, yes. <laughs> all right. Have a good day, ma'am. Thank you very much for letting four complete strangers into your house. Goodbye. Bye bye. Oh, big impressed. Close the door. And <laughs> you can... There you are. You've, you've met um. You met his former. You met his uh, widow. It was like his house, his house, his house. Why it's just he a was? Model. I for one yeah, think Damien yeah. does a very good peasant voice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I especially so love how all his... over here. I, I especially love how she's just like, she's just like Watery single tarts. word answer, single word answer, two, two, two or three words. Fuck you. That's not Get good basis for a form of government, is it? <laughs> so you flirt a lot from that. <laughs> well, let's no. no. No fucking wonder he had an affair with the other dude. I mean, fuck. <laughs> yeah, oh, seriously, like... Horda McHorda over there. <laughs> my wife tried to make a porcelain cast of my dick. <laughs> so, I didn't think this room really? had enough colossal in it. The only information you have is the, the fact that uh, Samuel Kaur's family live in Arkham. You have an address there, and you could probably track down where uh, David Jones used to live. At the bottom of the sea. In a locker. You could either ask round, or you can go back to the... Uh, <laughs> The village hall again. Let's do art. Let's do asking around first because okay. someone must. Someone on the street must know. know Does anyone have a good persuade role that they could use? I do. I'm uh, not there though. You're not there. So, uh, Jack, persuade. I think. I have persuade fifteen. I think Jack's a bit better. I have persuade seventeen. Come at me. I have persuade sixty-five. Sixty-five. I rolled a thirty-six. Come shit. I rolled a twenty-one. You are pointed in the direction of uh, David Jones's former house. It's down the street to the left and a few houses along. Perfect. When we come um, upon this beautiful abode... This you know terrace house. Spooky about it, man. Is it lived in? No. But, so it's dilapidated. It's, it's dilapidated. This house is dilapidated. Oh, no. That's oh, yeah, can we open the door? <laughs> All right, guys. Get your Why busting in arms there? on. Oh. You can open is, the door. Is the door open? No, it's um, It's locked. Oh, I, 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 roll, I roll my um, Kick in the door. No, I okay. roll my locksmith. As you're trying to get your lockpicks out, uh, roll me a D100 for your uh, strength, like as you try and kick in the door. 80. No. It breaks his leg you on kick the, the door. Break, break my not, foot. Break my you don't break foot. your foot, you just... Uh, <laughs> you just like, fuck you, door. <laughs> roll, my, roll my locksmith. 45. That's a pass. I shout you, out, it always works in the movies. You easily open the door. The door is open. As, as he unlocks the door, I kick it open. Okay. Do you want me to um, describe that, the, the house to you? You're going to have a good, firm look. It's full uh, of porcelain, isn't it? <laughs> it is entirely empty. Is there a downstairs? I mean, there a, is... a, a cellar, a basement. No, there is not. Just, just invoke your teleport spell and find it's out. It's a two up, two down house. All right, I'm going to go look in the bedrooms. Okay. Spot hidden roll. Sure. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a look in the mini bar. There is no mini bar. Twenty nine. Seventy two. So it looks like it's oh, a pass wait. from Edward. Wait, uh forty seven. You find nothing. Nada? Nothing. This place is empty. Utterly empty. It's just full of dust. Not in all the rooms. Nothing. Not there, am I? There's no room that has anything in it. Nothing is in any of the rooms. None of none of the dust has been disturbed. None no of the footprints. Well, you don't know. You're not there. <laughs> are, there any, are there any? Are there any hollow walls? Nope. After an extensive search of the house, you come up empty. Nothing. Well, shit. Why 
What oh, the right. shit? There's only house. one solution. We dynamite the house. Did they ever break dynamite? No. Shit. Okay, so there's absolutely nothing in the house. Nothing in the house. Well, that was a dud. Yep. Jack Leica is right back because he's pouring himself a drink. Okay. <laughs> please, please, please. So, um, where's your next port of call? We need Set to... off yet. I this is when I get. To... You're going to have to track down his wife off exactly. to Africa, is what is then said. We need well, to, I have we need tracking. To go to Africa. Hmm. What was that, uh, Violet? Well. So, what is Hussey doing in all this time? Well, he's sitting there looking at the fucking window from the outside, waiting for the flash to go off from his trap. It's not happening. <laughs> so, well, I'm fucking patient. I'm waiting. It's okay. And also, I don't know where they are anymore. I just nope. knew library. That's it. Nope. So what are you what are you four doing? Dead. Pretty much. Um Jack Leica is back. Yep. Nothing has happened since you left. Acting. No, I'm, honestly I'm I'm a bit stumped. You haven't told them by the way about the paper yet, have you, Daniel? Paper? Daniel's he dead. gone. He dead. Daniel's also dead. Sorry, I was chewing him. What did you say? So you haven't told them about um, the thing in the paper concerning the uh, the ship you were on, have you? I haven't. I was busy sweating over it myself. Ah, yes. Did any of you read the paper this morning, by the way? No, I was too busy having a lang long gangly arm. The paper arms was delivered. But the paper was delivered, but no one read it. Who read it? I guess I'd read it. Why not? In that case, um. In that case, make me a idea roll. All right, let's do this. Forty-three. That a pass? Seems yeah, my like idea a is eighty-five. Bad idea. Okay. We may come to you later. <laughs> I had an idea. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> oh. There is someone actually selling a paper on the corner. Is it one of those? Hey there, boy. I rolled like half my idea roll. Yeah, you, there is someone selling, and you get the feeling. By looking at this, that there's something in, there's something in that paper that you sort of glazed over. All right. That was okay. relevant to you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go buy a newspaper. You buy a newspaper, it. and uh, it's blue. the same newspaper that you were reading. Hang on a minute. That was a couple of days ago. It was, it was yesterday. Was, yeah. This person is selling. Over well, this well, this person is selling both yesterday and today's <laughs> paper. Why would he be selling yesterday? Who cares about yesterday's paper? Well, I call shenanigans on this. No. You actually know he's selling a few days worth of papers. Extra, extra, read all about it. <laughs> Yesterday's news. All right, we get, we get. Not so much news, news <laughs> maybe old. <laughs> sort of <laughs> giving it away for free. <laughs> well, he has to get rid of them somewhere. He's yeah, being yeah. enterprising. Here, totally boy, have a dollar. Well, we'll just get all of the papers. That's really fucking okay, fun. just like a week's worth. Let's do it. Because this will also give us indications if there was weird stuff happening before we got there. Well, a flick read of uh, uh, a flick of <laughs> flick uh, read. Flicked read of some of the uh, firm pages reveals nothing in particular about the uh, factory. Eventually, however, you do come across one from yesterday, which remarks about the uh, the liner that you travelled across him. We googled it. No, wait, that's it's back in time. We altavisted it. The uh, the liner that you travelled on. <laughs> The transatlantic liner, yeah. Remember that two people died on that, mm -hmm. Mister. Uh, I remember no such thing. Hugh Grant. Right. Remember that two people died on it, and they they may have been shot. But you mm -hmm. best believe that that's held to pay, on. Well, it is uh, being silent in thought. So, would you say that, that, that yes, that the yep. thing happened? Yes. Yes. <laughs> and and you pretty much know who did it. What, Daniel? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So you I know, know, I know that my friend is a murderer, yes, yes, yes. I'm not a murderer. Now, 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 what you read here is that someone has actually... Ad pussy. Someone on the, the liner has actually admitted to the murders. So it wasn't me. Has admitted to the murders, uh, claiming that they, they were the one that shot the people and had a weapon. Under police questioning, they confessed to the murders, have been sent to prison, and will be hung. So to be fair, that's a pretty standard police interrogation here in the UK then. Full of lies and garbage. <laughs> so, you know, Violet, that this man is innocent. Okay. But that he will be hung for what Daniel did. 
Daniel did. Daniel defended himself from getting killed. Wow, Daniel, that's so good I, going, I'll tell, mate. I'll tell Daniel about it, I guess. I already know about it. Well, Cause... you know someone else is being accused. Yes. I was gonna. I'm gonna make a phone call. Uh, in, a, in in a safer place that I can uh, tell tell yeah. evidence to get the man off the hook. I hope. <laughs> just just casually confess and be like, yeah, you'll never catch me. Make though. me oh! it, if anyone has law, make me a law roll. Is that the android of data's brother? We, no. we, we've unfortunately ascertained that we are lawless. So uh, <laughs> roll law just in case. Oh nice, let's do it. That's Would our first name be Lucy? No. One hundred. You we think look... this will work unequivocally? Sixteen. Passing. Even though you're what? not there. No. <laughs> I'm not even there. I just had a Ford board out of my shit. No. Just looking out the window. I got sixteen. Is nice. that a pass for you? I don't know. What's the default law? Five. Bollocks. Everything in the immediate area of Rupert. You think? Natural. You think, Jack, that that will unequivocally work? Nin well, Ninety-eight. I'm channeling my inner lawyer. Yeah. You 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 think that this will unequivocally work? Wait, you think that's a great Ollie, idea? Ollie got a hundred as well. Yeah. So we had two, we we've literally had two hundred and ninety-eight. So we drained. Law you think this will definitely work? No, that's hundred is bad. Remember. Exactly. We've drained it out of the environment. Like literally, everything <laughs> around us becomes less lawful. You, you, um, <laughs> you, you, you. Anybody that rolled really badly there thinks that's a great idea. I rolled really well, but not quite perfect. No, I think you I have no opinion on it. What the the um, idea was, so I just agree with it. Yeah. 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 You could probably ring, probably at the village. By the, uh, on the way to the house. You bring Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, are you concluding your investigations in this area for the day? Didn't really find out a lot, except that this woman likes hoarding. Yeah, you didn't find much we out. Just, we, just, we just need to find, like... The song kidnapped the actor from Monty Python. <laughs> we could yeah, try and find... It's not hoarding, but as soon as they're porcelain, it is. <laughs> we well, could that how find it works? where this dude it is, was yes. Exactly. Okay. We could find where the dude was buried. Yeah, we could we could try and find where Davy Jones was buried. Are we are we now going for extra crimes such as grave robbing? Look, grave We're robbing basically isn't even a crime. Straws. They're dead, it's, man. It's you could you pretty much won't need an idea roll to guess that they were probably buried in the local parish church. I mean, it, do they have an ossuary, a charnel house, a crypt, conventional whatever? There's a local parish church that you can check the graveyard of if you like. I, I can confirm, yeah. having grown up in a village, that this is true. <laughs> We, we will find dude. some higgledy piggledy graves. Let's blink around places. Are you going to uh, have a look? Why not? It's <laughs> like grave robbing to the crimes. Let's, let's go this is the guy that got incinerated because then you're just going to be looking at an urn. <laughs> well, let's steal his urn. Let's go full ham. Yeah, all right. Okay, you're, you're going to have a look in the graveyard. <laughs> um, I can tell you it's not going to take you very long. Uh, eventually, after about 20, 25 minutes, you do in fact find their graves. They're not next to each other. They're quite a distance apart. Um, they are pretty plain. Anyone got a shovel? It is still day. I have Trachosaurus hands. And they're pretty, not, they're neglected graves. They're At this point, have you picked up Hasi saying we're going to rob a grave? Probably. Yes. Okay. About, like, look, you know about graves. Uh, old he, and stuff. he doesn't, there's no potential of animal there. And he just, just wants to stay there. Okay, fine. Fine. You, are you going to just stay at that factory? Well, there's no potential of seeing anything <laughs> worthy of the, if his name in the National Geographic. Uh, okay, fine. You're just going there. to stay at the um, at the graveyard at the uh, factory. Okay. Them, I see. <laughs> so you, you guys are going to the graveyard. You found the graves. There they are. What are you going to do? It's still I day. Mean, what information could we get from this? Where they, Fuck when off. they died, how they died. What yeah, the dude in a We kind of know that. Yep. But I mean, when they were picked, I suppose the question would be when they were picked up, was anything, I guess you could ask the police if anything, because well, they wouldn't have anything on them. Yeah. Where's, where's the graveyard from the uh, Not house? Far. Not far. It, well, where the house is? About half a mile. No, no correlation, I guess. Yeah, half, I don't know. Half a mile. So. Just like at this point, I guess, like, what information can we possibly get? Well, you have... if, if the guy gets incinerated in a fire, the ash that's put in the urn is probably not going to be him. It's just like, here's some of the furniture and some shit, and there's, here, here, wife. <laughs> we don't we... have closure. They, they identified the bodies, so he wasn't <laughs> incinerated. Honest. They were burned to death, but they weren't incinerated because yeah. they identified the bodies. They weren't incinerated. So it's smoke inhalation, and then they died. Pretty much. Oh, I mean, I'd imagine they're lightly singed. Oh, I see. Sort of like just sauteed. 
That's why I was thinking it might be worth looking at them, because if they are identifiable corpses, then may well, they'd be old now, so they'd be too old, they'd be skeletons. <laughs> skeletons! Hmm. I don't know, Matt. Guys, I, I, I consult the group. What should we do, guys? We're not, we're not, um, grave robbing. Well, we could, but I'm just asking, like, do, do, do we really think it's worth, given that, like... If they were incinerated, then there's nothing to find in the grave. It's just a... But, they, but a, they, they, they weren't incinerated because they were identified. Oh, in that case, there will be skeletons. Find the coroner's report. A... Uh, Daniel can read it. Does anyone That's have true. a shovel? Actually, what, have, we, have we asked the police about this? We could probably ask the police. They would have a record of the murder, or the deaths. And they would have a coroner's... They might might have a coroner's report. And they might have anything they found... But a, a... Well, if they were identified, then there would be a report. Yeah, so I mean, let's... Should we have a badge of that? Well, it would be digging up the grave. <laughs> but yeah, I think it's better than digging up the grave. So we, 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 we take Clyke into a clothing shop, put him in, like, a stripper policeman outfit, and point him towards the police station. <laughs> I don't think you're going to find a stripper police outfit. Like, he makes any outfit then we get like a, a stripper at least, outfit, then. He can come out of. <laughs> well, you could just ask them. If that <laughs> fails, the plot then. I am the cook. <laughs> no, you're not, Steven Seagay. <laughs> Steven Seagay? So, anyway, what? you're going to the police, a local police station. Yeah. So, if there's anything like my local police station where I grew up, there'll be like some sort of frogman behind the counter that grunts you. My he's local a very police. small. He's my local a very, police. It's a very small little office. Is it a frogman behind the counter? There no, it's not. There is a particularly bored looking policeman. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much what I said. Some pride. <laughs> what can I do for you? Strangers. Me and my mates want to dig up some graves. No, I'm just joking. Aren't, aren't you the actor? Do, do I have to do all the talking all the time? Okay. <laughs> Hello, good sir. My name is Jack Kleiker. I am looking for information on um, something that happened quite a long while ago, which is a fire of a factory. Oh, that. I, I, I poke Daniel and, and tell him to mention that he's a doctor, so it makes sense for him to look at a coroner's report. Uh, yes, I'll wait for the introductions, but yes. Um, I, we're conducting a separate investigation, and uh, as an established physician already, I would like to have a look at the coroner's report just to see what the analysis was. thought it was pretty cut and dry, if you ask me. There was a fire, people died. That's true, but uh, it's, it's, just, it's just for my study. It's, 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 it's important for my course, if you wouldn't mind. Oh, why not? <laughs> Fuck laws. <laughs> let's, let's just do this. He goes. Normally, and... when you talk to one of Kiko's characters, could you hand me this glass of water? No. <laughs> now, when you, I wish when you, you ask him something like, can we, see these check. can we see these coroner reports that are totally kept on a lock? Uh huh. Uh -huh. The difference is, is these are two entirely different characters. This guy, <laughs> Kiko has two. He has two modes. He has like obstructive and helpful. Dude, <laughs> he, he, helpful he, he goes back into some files and eventually pulls out the reports for you and just hands them to you. <laughs> uh, ta, I, I have a quick flip then. Right. <laughs> he says he literally said ta. By the way, he, he opens his mouth and a frog emerges before vanishing. <laughs> it is a um, policeman. I knew it. It's very, very brief. Um, <laughs> he dead. <laughs> the, cause, the cause of death is written as fire, oh. like burning, like oh. severe oh. burning and uh, smoke inhalation. Um, the cause of the fire is. Let's have a look and see if there's anything about the cause of the fire. Marijuana. No. Was was it oxygen? An ignition source. <laughs> Hold on. I got this. It was a staring cup. Uh, they do not know the source of the fire. At all. They don't know what, what caused the fire. Was there anything At first. They do a little bit of... There's a little bit of investigation. They believe that a lantern was knocked over and started a fire. I'm curious whether that would be in the coroner's report, but I'll flow it. Russians shooting lanterns. You're, what, you're reading a mixture of a coroner's report and the police report. Yeah, I see. The police it report is very brief. The coroner's report is also very brief. You get the feeling. <laughs> yeah, he says he's dead. You get the feeling the coroner didn't care much about this. Died of died from smoke. Died from the fire. And what does the coroner's report say about how they identified the bodies, which in theory should be in there? Uh, they identified the bodies because they were the only two people that didn't return back to work that morning. Next so morning. they didn't identify the bodies then. <laughs> nope. Nope. I questioned the policeman's like, so 
these are these bodies that were identified. Quotes. They weren't identified then. There's no teeth records or anything. Mm, I haven't read it. Obviously, this was that was before my time. Do you mind if I uh, copy these? Uh, do you have? Do you know of any uh, police officers who were around at that time and actually worked on the case? No, they all retired. Do you have maybe a name of one of the retired ones who still lives around here? Uh, let's see. Uh, that guy's dead. He's dead. It sounds like an average of uh, English, please. Oh. He's dead. Uh, do they have coroner reports that say the same thing too? <laughs> Well, they all uh, like, some of them died of uh, that guy died of too much too much drinking. Well, this one died of uh, <laughs> death. Uh, let's have a look. <laughs> There's, I think the only other guy moved up north to Scotland. Oh, he's dead then. Uh, <laughs> well, he's dead. Yeah. Right. So there are two ways to go about this. Yeah. Get a picture of the guy, or get some of his old clothes. If does the height of said man matches whatever's in the grave? Then it might be the same You're dude. seriously thinking about Brett grave robbing here. Oh my god, what might are we doing? Might as well. I'm not there, so I can go them into doing anything, I guess. Hasi, spot hidden roll. Yes! Yes! Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 45, is that the pass? Flash! It's a pass. Oh. Sorry. Nice. Flash! What, again? No, it's just flashed once. That's why I'm, I'm repeating it. There was a flash. And what time is it? Uh, they're currently at the police station right now. So it's been yeah, a while. Yeah, what, but what, what time in the day? Flash? Sun's going to oh. set soon. Well, it usually fucks around during the night. Yeah. Wait, no, it's invisible when it's not not being... For fuck's sake! <laughs> Never mind. Okay, I note down the time and I make my way over to wherever the fuck they are you if don't I don't know. have any idea. Where they are. No, no, they they, they went past to ask yeah, they did, yeah, they... back, and then they went where they are now. To yeah. a police station. He turns on his GPS and heads over. Uh, okay, well. Event, basically, it. the um, police was like, well, I don't know why you're looking into it anyway. It's just happened a long time ago. People are dead. It's nothing, it's nothing uh, particularly special. Just, again, university uh, for extra doctorate stuff. Just mm. curious. Yeah, it's got a bit of a burn victim fetish there, you know. Crazy. Just specialisations in our field, you know, just to make myself a better doctor. It's always so, worth it. So guys, if we just need parts of their clothing, then if we dig up the graves, I mean, even if it wasn't their bodies, wouldn't they put... No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm saying that, like, out of character. Okay, wouldn't they, um, like, wouldn't they have put their clothes on the bodies, though? Because if they died from burning, obviously they wouldn't have proper clothes, but they would bury them Eventually, the Eventually, Hasi joins you. Well, they'd bury them in a suit. Yes. Yeah, but then. But wouldn't it be one of their own suits? <laughs> Though it's a bit different. If I'm talking OOC uh, here with a burn victim, you wouldn't do that necessarily. Maybe in a bag of shit. They they would be completely covered because you can't ha you obviously can't have open uh, you can't have an open coffin on a burn victim. Well, to be fair, it was 1892. You they, wouldn't they do that. Control, not if you wanted man. to spook a load of shit people out. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, it was Britain. I don't think the wife would mind. She probably even made a death mask up the guy. Oh, oh yeah. So let me just check. Yep, this guy looks like a eaten gummy bear. That's what I want to see. <laughs> people used to go to executions, and they would like people. One of the reasons that people used to complain about public executions is they said the worst thing about public executions is how fucking happy everyone is at them. Everyone turns up. They're like, "This is fucking great. Let's kill someone," and everyone's cheering as the guy dies. They were well, at least they some cheering, that's all right. <laughs> yes! It's Bring back the fucking Coliseum. Exactly. That's all I'm saying. No, I had drafts in it. So, your conclusions from encountering the policeman? Well, he's a bit of a slacker. Or what do you mean about the other thing? Anything else? What, what, any other questions to ask him, or are you deciding your next plan of action? Well, we, we gleaned absolutely piss all, except the fact they didn't do a very good job, and that's, we can obviously assume from that that it very well might not be the person who died. Or... Is this an evidence bag, or did, did they actually have the, whatever he had on him <clears throat> that was seared in a bag somewhere? Police accounts on it are pretty vague and do not state explicitly if there was anything with him on his death. I just I say to the group, I mean, look, this guy is potentially not dead. That's all right. There, there we found two bodies that were no checks were done. It had been very easily done medically, which someone didn't do, perhaps for a reason. So this guy is potentially alive, and uh, they burned some other poor soul instead. 
How do we go about killing the policeman? You wait till he turns into a frog. Oh, I see. I mean, you stab him with this fixed stick. And then we write a coroner's report that just says dead on it. <laughs> just, just, it just says rip. Yeah. Dead. Oh. Rest of his life. Well, it's unusual because he haven't, hasn't been dead before. How does the cause of death got deaded? Yeah. You Signed him. by Dr. Daniel Grant. Stamp. <laughs> You found a fantastic coroner's report there. <laughs> what the hell? And you open it on the back, it just has a picture of a willy. Done. No, 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 it has a dick butt. Yeah, oh, dick oh, butt. Oh, 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 hold on. How, how long ago did he die? What, dick butt? No, the dude. 1892? When is that? A long time ago. <laughs> Maybe 30 years, years like about 28 years ago? And the widow kept paying for the, uh, for the... Graveyard to stay there? No. So that would have run out what nine years ago? Mm, probably just haven't got round to. They might not. Have, they haven't just got round to bearing over it's it. It's all villagers. They didn't. That's not necessarily yeah. the case here. Yeah. You don't. You don't. You wouldn't necessarily have to pay for like a plot of land for that like length of time because not many people snuffed it. Well, this is London, isn't it? This is a small village, isn't it? Uh, near London. No, this is London. Yeah, oh, is it? Oh, yeah. then this guy's screwed that he's been kicked out long ago. No, 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 the, the grave's well, still there, they just haven't got around to burying over it. If it's still there, and it's, it's due to be picked up, that's all in. <laughs> so what does it say on the grave, to be checked? Does it say died of death on it? Yeah, probably, you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> so you're literally planning I'm making on... a point about this, damn it. <laughs> well, you've just, as I said, you've just come across a very lazy coroner. I'm going to phone the coroner tomorrow at work and ask him if there's anybody who died of death, and we'll see what he says. Actually, Hello, is that the Bristol coroner? Yes. Any death there today, sir? Yeah. As I said, you've just no, found a bitterly. You've just found a very lazy coroner. Lazy coroner. The lazy Wait, 1890s we, we, coroner. You gonna assume both of them, or just one? If we're gonna do it. Are we actually genuinely thinking of this? <laughs> Let's commit a crime. But a crime says we done at night. Did you get the woman to sign anything, uh, Clyker, when you uh, were there? No. So if you had, we'd have a signature for her to have the grave moved. No, she didn't oh, sign anything. Oh, Aww. So you're basically going to dig up a grave. We're going to dig up a grave, but we're going to do it in a way that can't come back and bite us in the ass, I hope. Right, so we are going to go with this plot needs to be used now, so it needs to be exhumed, and then we're going to in ourselves with the grave digger, or we're going to go, the family has requested this dude to be moved to a family burying the burial spot somewhere so, so it's going to be one of those two or we're going to do the monkey island bit at night with the so you're going to you're going to grave rob i don't know are we <laughs> come on let's be fair that's what everyone wants to see isn't it come on no one that's all right so well, you're going to need a shovel <laughs> it needs to be night and we need to wear black and white suits <laughs> with stripes with a bag that says swag on it when we put a head in there <laughs> So you're going to dig a grave of the dead, dead guy <laughs> uh. who died of dead. Yes. So, okay. You like... know, people do not have to go along. You can just head back to the house. Well, unless we can do it in a way where we're actually left alone and can do this properly, then I probably would not advise it. There is a good chance that someone might just, you know, drive along and see you digging no, it's, up. No, it's more the fact that we go to the we go to one of those guys and say either this needs to be moved or this plot's run out. It's due to be uh, due to be exhumed. In that way, we could uh, at, well the the digger dude would be doing it or what's it called the grave graveyard attendant, but we could press it still so that it would happen. We just have to yoink the corpse and be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're basically pulling a Birkin hair. That's I good. am pulling some sort of poultry, yes. Just, just fucking slam some hair. dynamite in the grave and come back a few seconds later. Beep. How, how did he die? Uh, dynamited. <laughs> no, it says death on it, and that's what we're going with. Yeah, but... <laughs> to be second fair, the coroner report dynamite. did say from burns and smoke inhalation. It didn't say dead. No, no doubt we'll find out the actual cause of death is that he's been turned into some sort of porcelain figure and stuck in a... Yeah, it's this extra death mask. So yeah. you're going to go to the graveyard at night. Are we? Are you? Know, are we? Are you? I, I thought we are were we? going to try, try and are actually... We actually I don't know. 
It's been a long time deciding if you're just going to dig up a dead body. We haven't really achieved anything otherwise. I feel we should do no. something. I, I we should want... at least violate something. <laughs> I, could, I only want to do this if we can do it in a way that, that's good. It's like, can look, we... Look, we need, to, we need to achieve something this episode, correct? I well, yeah, I, I, still, I still want to do it. But I still want... So far, so far right. we've gunned an old woman and we've mugged some police officers of a report. What you're all smart can about I, this. You've also, read, I... you've also read that account that I read to you, by the way. Can I just shoot someone and have done with it? You also that that extract that I read to you. I also read that to you. Remember, Daniel goes home angrily. Uh, Wasn't but... that mainly about like his trip, his trip yeah. to Greenlands or whatever? Yes. But does he mention anywhere in on Earth? He spoke. Well, I did mention. Um, he did mention some creatures. What time? Well, at first he mentioned in the first sector about straight, sm strange, small, glowing creatures in the valley he was in. Meets. And then he also briefly mentioned uh, the person that he met in the Dreamlands, uh, which you can... is uh, Frederick Tathersome. He describes it as the true world. But you probably, at this point, since you remembered that this creature is a creature of something called the Dreamlands, that was your past Cthulhu Mythos role, you probably guessed that that's what he means. I warned, he warned them of a large forearm monsters that could eat a man whole, as well as the invisible renders of the shadows who disintegrated in the light of the moon. Okay. But, like... Quick question. Frederick, Frederick, you said Frederick whatever was a denizen. Did he say, so he, did, is he implying that Frederick whatever is a denizen of the Dreamlands? Permanently. Okay. And uh, he, he warned them of those creatures from the Dreamlands. Well, I wonder, so I wonder if we can look that guy up and see where he came from originally. Quick question. She's, he's saying that the thing disintegrates in the light of the moon. The invisible renders of the shadows who disintegrated in the light of the moon. It's probably that thing that we found if we'd opened a yeah. window of pepperoni. Yeah, I'm saying, so if we caught, brought moonlight into the um, room, then it would get done fucked. No, no, we, we can grave rob without having... <laughs> Without having to we dig don't give a shit about her. No, no, we can we can have Violet use her elevator skill and end up in the coffin. Yes, that would be a flawless plan. <laughs> so I could end up in literally, literally with a boner inside me. Fantastic. Yes, buried yes. alive. Do it, and you're gonna get thrown out, but you can just sort of clutch the, the, the coffin while doing it, and you're gonna bounce up, and you're gonna be screaming for twelve hours, but the the casket's gonna come out as well. It's come out screaming. Yes, flawless, bones. flawless plan. Let's do it. Go. Strategy as well. Oh. So, what is the plan? Um, I want to go back to the warehouse and see if we can fuck the monster. Okay. Is anybody else going to go with that? Wait. Um... A day? Because during the day, next day, I want to go back and collect my shit. If we go there now, we're going to fuck up all my shit. So if we wait until the next night, yeah, that, that would be preferable. In that case, uh, Violet can finish reading that book. Yeah, that sounds good. I want to head back and ask about the gem anyway, if he's discovered anything new. Okay, and you also That's wanted right. to make that phone call. Oh yeah, I'll do it on the way home. Okay. I to, uh, sort of, just at the graveyard, ask about uh, for when the plot's due to expire and shit like that. When there needs to be room, I guess. <laughs> oh, wait. Wait, wait, the, the dude, uh, the dude that died in prison, wasn't he left to Hassa to deal with? Yes. Yes, I'd like to bury him there. That <laughs> grave, right there. And, uh, and... Oh, you... please. Um, you'll have to go through the church for that. Well, uh, I'll set about doing that. Is there an easy way of rolling Persuade or Credit Rating to see if this succeeds so that we don't it's have to do It's going to take long? a fair while. Well, I have a fair while. That's good. We're talking days and days. Well, he's been dead for 30 years. He's not going to go anywhere. No, no, Samuel Cole has not been dead for 30 years. Samuel Cole has been dead for a matter of... No, no, dude in grave. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that guy's on ice. He's in my basement. It's fine. It's still going to take a while. It's okay. not something you can even start sorting tonight. Okay, that's fine. So you're going to go back, wait until the next night. You're going to make a phone call, which I, we're going to do in the village mm -hmm. at the mm -hmm. post office. Ring, ring. So you're going to ring the police. Well, no, it's a very quick phone call. There's not a lot to say. Someone just... picks up. Hello? What are you wearing? <laughs> okay, Cole's sorry. Coming from inside the house. What are you buying? The man you have on the uh, with the um what's the word I'm looking for? That thing that goes across the ocean which goes Trans Atlantic liner. Boat, yes. 
Yes. The man you have on the boat who is, uh, you've said is committed murders, that is not correct. There were no such murders, it was self-defense and it was not that man. Then who was it? It was me. Then hand yourself in. Nothing to hand in. Self-defense. Then come in for questioning. Why? Because otherwise... We were, we were in open waters. Because I was... otherwise, I have no reason to believe you. It's the third call like this we've had in the I last few details days. details no one else could. No. I could tell, I could tell you the Come in routes. for questioning. Nope. Hangs up. <laughs> so good. All right, Len, that's good. That was a good waste of time. Thank you very much. <laughs> He's hung up. This, this, this policeman's rude, man. You get the idea that they're probably not going to believe you unless you actually go in. Well, I'm not going in because that's fucking stupid. <laughs> no. All right, we'll drop this then. Yeah. Fair like, enough. that's just stupid. Like, if they, if they don't listen to reason, the fact that someone could tell them exact details over the phone of he something want, that could exactly He wanted you to go in for questioning if you're the one that did it. Yeah, because they would totally, like, they would totally wouldn't listen to anonymous tip offs. No. He did say it was the third such call of that he'd had in the past few days. And he refused to listen to the fact that I could give him exact asked, details. He asked you to go in for questioning why? if it was you the one but that why? did it. But why? They would, they would, if you gave them some exact details of something that could happen. That is what the would, policeman asked you. The policeman asked you to go in for questioning. If you're, the one, if you're the one that did it, you you go in and answer. Yeah. I, I, I wish to be uh, held in a court of law over something that didn't happen. That's just silly. You did shoot them. Yes. Also, in a de-restricted area, in the middle of the ocean. You did shoot them. And he did. A, and he's already, and they've already have somebody who's admitted to the murder. That also doesn't make any yeah. sense. Like, anyway, the other thing is... Um, so, is right. there anything else we need to... No, I was just saying, like, is there anything else that we can do to save this man, or... He can admit to the murder. <laughs> yes. Maybe he's a cultist. Maybe he's a brainwashed cultist. They he's probably a cultist, yeah, since they exactly. have a bunch of people wanting to go Let's in there. Just so that's... that's true. They, right, just don't, they, they, they don't want an investigation, so they're just throwing people on the fire to get rid of it. I assume. That's what guilt man is uh, there for. Presumably, but uh, like, if if the guy wouldn't like listen to reason at all, then it's just a waste of time. <laughs> it stands to reason, says Ben. It stands to reason. I agree. It does seem that policeman was, was not very. There's just it's just an exceptionally obtuse policeman. If someone's supposed to be like on, on a police line that is meant for like stuff like that, if someone li won't listen to reason, then you you're wasting your time on that kind of. Maybe thing. he noticed you're from Wiltshire. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> what? He's just like hating on you. Like, Fucking Wiltshire. Uh, I don't, that I that that bugs me somewhat because that just it, what's the point in like having a line like that then? <laughs> he wanted you to go in for questioning, as he said, because if you're the one that did it. Go in for questioning and tell them how it happened. No, but surely they'll be think... they're very really interested. The guy was just like not interested but at I think, all. I think so. the conclusion of this set of this session should be Ben writing out a letter of complaint to the police department. <laughs> look, look, tried look, to hand myself in for shit. Didn't even listen. What? But serious, seriously, may as well because it's like they, they listen just as well as that. Then they ask you to go in. To hand yourself in. This is being needlessly obtuse in both ways. I feel. Hmm? Well, they want anyway, you to come in. Okay, anyway, so, so, so what's happening now at the end of the session? You went back. Cool. So we're going back to the um, back to the house. Yeah. Yes. With our with our nothing information. Cursed. With your nothing. No, no, no. I got a picture. I got a picture and some footprints, but I just need to go get them tomorrow when it's light, and I don't want to die in there. You don't know you got a picture and footprints, did you? No. Okay. There's a picture. You don't know what it was of. I got footprints of the picture, please. Cool. All right. Cool. In that case. Yeah. Um, how how I assume next session is going to be following directly on, so we just um. Mm. Ben in there. I'm going to finish books. And everyone gonna... does whatever. Yeah. Mm hmm. We can sort it out next time. Yes. Oh, fantastic. Yo, Svensk. We accomplished bugger all. The dream. Oh, I got I got some pictures. I drew some shit. You did. I'm gonna send it off to a dude so he can have me committed and cut off from the National <laughs> Geographic. That sounds like a good plan, Rufo. <laughs> Thank you. So is that where you want to end the session? Uh, well, we're gonna have to. Ollie seems to have to fuck off. Yeah, Ollie's gotta escape into the sunset, and so it's like a. Yeah, fair enough. All right, let's. Uh... And when they come back, maybe they'll actually find out that there's something wrong with the porcelain lady. <gasps> Hold on. She was the the deep one all along. She was actually. I, I do hope we find a deep one, but he's just like super friendly, and we just take it out. <laughs> he's like, hi guys. It's a bit, it's a bit dry in here, but I'm okay. I got my paw slam. So we'll catch you next time. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bye. Till then. Um...